The Cuvieri Pass is the only difficulty of the day for the 166 remaining riders in the second stage of the Criterium du Dauphiné. The hurdle stands 100 kilometers from the finish line, so it shouldn't impact the sprinters' ambitions. Three men broke off on the way to villars les dombes Daniel Teclemanot showed once again he's in good form after yesterday. The Eritrean rider set his mind on the king of mountain jersey. His two breakaway companions are two Frenchmen, Pierre Kimmener of Europe Car and Arnaud Courtey of FDJ. The MTN rider is the first to reach the top of the Col de Cuvéry, a Category 1 ascent. Therefore, he secures his Paul Cadot jersey for another day in the Dauphiné region. There is a card to play here for him, as his team will take part in the Tour de France for the first time this year. The gap with the pack climbs to 6 minutes 55 when the sprinters' teams Modolo's Lampre and Buani's Cofidis get to the front of the peloton to come back on the escapees. 3.7 kilometers from the finish, the pack catches the three men. No one has the legs to try a solo attempt, so the bunch sprint can take place. The Cofidis lead out sends Naz Abwani behind Edvald Wassenhagen will before the Frenchman manages to take over and cross the line in the front. Samuel Dumoulin takes the second place from Sasha Modolo, the long course sprinter, who misses the stage win and the overall lead. Buani can burst in joy after a frustrating start to the season. The Cofidis team manager had hopes for Nasser Buani on this 2015 Dauphiné. It took a day for the group to get satisfaction. The sprinters are not many on this race, but it surpassed the competition to clinch the stage success ahead of his compatriot Samuel Dumoulin, Sacha Modolo, who won the peloton sprint yesterday, and Boisson Hagen, the Norwegian. More importantly, Buani wins his first prestigious success this season after the Circuit de Denain and two Circuit de la Sarthe stages a month to the Tour de France. I'm super happy, especially for the team more than for myself, because they've always kept their faith in me, despite a rather difficult start to the season. I'm really happy for the coffee this team. The manager, Ivan Sonke, has always trusted me, so I'm really happy for him. After a stage on the Paris Nice last year and after his sixth place in the Milan San Remo three months ago, Buani shines in the Dauphiné ahead of fellow sprinters Dumoulin and Modolo, a good result in which Buani can gain confidence before the Tour de France. At the GC, Buani and Modolo are two seconds behind Peter Kinnock, the Team Sky rider, who remains on top spot for another day. Tomorrow, the time trial between Rouen and Montagny won't be very flat, still it's probably going to suit a ruler. The winner should take the overall leader's jersey at the end of the 24km course. Years ago, I used to think my life was only given. Years ago, I used to talk about life as just big dreaming.